I'm here with Hannah Milne. Uh, I'm the Reverend Archie Coates, the vicar at St Peter's in Brighton, and Hannah is about to uh, become a deacon here. She's been an um, ordinand with the Chichester Diocese. She's been actually, St Peter's has been her placement church, and we're delighted uh, that she's staying on to be curate. Hannah, just say, um, how did you get to this point? Great question. I, and I wonder that myself sometimes. But um, So I wasn't brought up going to church. I uh, became a Christian as a teenager back home in Plymouth, where I grew up. Um, and then when I moved to Brighton about 10 years ago as a student, um, I started coming to St. Peter's. And that was the first time I'd ever kind of been part of an Anglican church. That was all very new to me. But I just loved the sense of community and the city focused vision of St. Peter's. And um, through that, I got involved with the student ministry in particular. And it was just through a series of conversations, really, with the leadership team. Uh, who started to mention ordination, which was pretty new to me. Um, but I began to just look into that as a potential vocation, went to a couple of seminars, listened to a couple of talks, did all those kind of usual things to explore that and began the process um, just towards the end of my degree whilst I was um, f finishing up um, being a student at the University of Sussex and then began training in 2017. And here I am kind of finishing up that journey. And you've been at Simulitis, so you've been doing a kind of mixed mode of training, is that right? Yes, yes, that's been brilliant. Um, so uh, up to London every Monday and residential weekends once a month and a residential week once in the year. And uh, Hannah, just say, because during this period, um, it's sort of everybody's favourite word, isn't it? Unprecedented, but um, <laughs> lockdown. Uh, one of the things, the aspects that you've been involved with is moving the home groups mm -hmm. online, so via Zoom. And I know that it's been quite a revelation. Just say how the groups and how your group particularly has gone. Yeah, so um, my husband and I had been running a group in our home for the last couple of years, which had obviously been the most familiar way of meeting together, worshipping together, praying with one another and encouraging each other in our faith. But yes, yeah, since lockdown, we've moved that online, which has been an amazing experience, actually. Um, we're all getting used to Zoom, I'm sure. But we gather online with about 20 other people around our age group, a couple of married couples, um, some uh, single people as well, at different stages of our kind of journey of faith. And um, we've just been giving it our best shot, worshipping on Zoom. My hus husband picks up the guitar and sings to, wow. the, to the laptop, um, which seems quite strange. But I think that's one of the kind of new challenges that the church faces, really, isn't it? That we are to proclaim the gospel afresh in each generation and this generation is in a lockdown so we're just trying to adapt really and continue to help people in their walk of Jesus even in lockdown so mental health challenges losing jobs uh, furloughing you know it's it just presents new challenges but a privilege to be walking with people through it and you mentioned though challenges what you know what do you see in the next 12 months what what do you think the particular mm. challenges will be for the church either our church or the wider church uh, in the new normal yeah well i mean i guess one of the biggest challenges is that no one knows what's what's going to happen you know how long will this lockdown last what will we be able to return to as normal so to speak but i think one thing that we've been really observing is just um, how the church can adapt and you know not just st peter's but churches across the country um, pulling in whatever resources they can, um, pulling in volunteers to pack the hampers to send out to the hostels in the city. Um, it's just, um, I think, an opportunity for the church to kind of flex, really. We've done it for generations and we've got to do it again now just to meet the uh, kind of physical needs, I think, of um, the people in our communities. But also, like I said, um, kind of mental well-being and even, you know, people getting out and exercising it's, it may sound quite trivial trivial in normal times but you know helping people have a kind of full life in, in a kind of holistic sense um, moving forward I think is going to be a big priority so just got to try and flex I think the church we'll see how that goes though yeah I love that word um flex because everyone's using their, their other favorite word is pivot isn't it but pivot <laughs> yeah. and flex Hannah we're absolutely delighted that um you're joining staying on actually as, as and now be curate and we're thrilled um how God's called you and uh, looking forward to it very very much oh, thank you me too